Alright, welcome back to Jump One Half. This level is called Bunny Hop and it's by Six Corby. Alright, let's go. I got a new controller, so I should probably focus on the game instead of talking. But, uh, okay, this is the theme of the level is those guys. Hopefully the controller doesn't uh, mess with me too much. Oh, well, that makes getting that dragon coin nice and friendly, which is good because I had already put myself in an unwinnable situation otherwise. You guys missed, and that guy got a second shot, but it didn't matter that much. Boop. Alright. As long as I have a good eye for what's coming up ahead, things should be fine generally. Yeah, you can just kind of jump up and get that. Who even needs this guy? Oh, wow. Okay. That changed things up pretty dramatically. That's pretty useless since it's not like a tier 2 power up. Okay. Those guys can't jump up and get me. So let's just do that. Probably not the easiest way of doing that. Dang it. I got impatient there. I should have just waited. Especially since I can't even get the mushroom there, which is unfortunate. There we go. Having two makes you ha means you have to jump just a little bit higher other than otherwise. Oh, you guys all missed. Good, I got to the midpoint. I'm glad about that. And I kind of wish that I had uh, collected the dragon coin and then the midpoint, because uh, then I wouldn't have to collect it every single other whoa time I do this, but okay, this is a thing. Good thing the double sprite glitch was patched, or that would be really painful. Pretty much every jump would be pain at that point. Goodbye. I feel like a lot of the obstacles in this level are defeated with the same sort of jump, the sort of go back and then forward again thing. Except not this one, I'm just acting like a doof to explain my point, but... Okay, I'll take it. Don't have as much time to sit around now. Okay, uh, that was not high enough, and wow, that was not what I meant to do. Oh, I... Oh, thank goodness for those blocks there. Shoot, I was expecting to bounce off them and not go right between whatever I'm pretty close all right just having an extra two power-ups makes it a lot easier to be brave and just go for it and do the right thing sometimes very simple gimmick but a very fun one that's for sure it definitely made for some satisfying platforming <laughs> However, the title is a clear lie. Those were not bunnies at all. Let's run back. Since now I know that I just have this one more level to clean up over here, unless it sends me off in some really weird direction. I saw you in the forest. Idle. The weird lack of caps in the title is kind of disconcerting. And well, Boone is prepared for everything. Wait. Didn't I already do this level? Was this one... Is this like a copycat of an earlier level, or... Did I... Was this the one part of the footage that got erased? I'm thinking it was the latter, probably. If it's, if it's anything like what I remember, those mushrooms will actually crush me at the top, so... I can't expect to just fall through like a normal semi-solid. Oh, hello. Let's whack this. Good enough. And this room here. Okay. That went pretty nicely so far. 
go down here, follow the coins, jump past here. Uh, maybe I should just go... Oh, never mind, it stopped. So good. You guys can go up. Now I just gotta wait for this guy. I guess I should go down here. And then now I just need to wait a little bit longer. So I can do this to speed things up. I remember this one. Kind of hard to forget a level with such a distinct aesthetic. Dang it. I did, however, forget how to do that obstacle, apparently. Okay, this one messed me up a lot. Apparently I figured it out, though, because... That gave me no pro trouble at all this time around, and I didn't even do it that smoothly, either. I kind of had to... Oh, well, I messed that one up. But it's the end, so who cares? Well, at least that was semi-blind because of how long it took me to get back to that level. Koopa Chaos. Maybe with some Kremlins in it. It's made by FT, so I know that it's going to be pretty precise, relatively speaking. Hello, Koopa. You are not very chaotic. I saw that mushroom there, so I wasn't entirely surprised. So, right now it's just a couple of Koopas. That's fine, I can deal with that. Oh. I did not think that through, apparently. Can I still even do this? It doesn't seem possible. I didn't really think about the lip. I already, like, literally flat out killed the Koopas, so that was not going anywhere at that point. Alright, lesson learned. Look before you murder. So this time I just stomp you. Okay, that doesn't matter because as long as I go back I can reset that obstacle. Even if it's not super easy to get back here. Because it's a not like super tight jump, but it's a slightly tight jump. I forget the, re the mechanics of running on walls exactly. Or at least getting off of walls, I should say. I know that if you hold different buttons... Press different buttons... Whoa, I should not be holding this. Sometimes if you're holding a shell like that, it'll... Uh, just kill the Koopa you bounce on, and then you just fall through, and that's no good at all. So, what am I doing here? Oh, I needed to bounce off of that guy. Alright, so I gotta re- Or I can do a shell jump. Or not. <laughs> that would work a lot better if I actually bounced high enough. Oh shoot. Alright, good enough. Alright, so I need to just... I guess this is safe if I do this. I'll duck- Oh, rats, I thought I would bounce on the shell. <laughs> that works out nicely. That felt close. This feels almost like a Kaizo level, but a little bit more lenient. And, of course, that didn't get me any lives. So, um, do I need to have the shell to kill this guy? Or maybe he's just there to get rid of my shell so that it doesn't mess me up. That probably makes more sense. I doubt it was meant to actually harm me. Okay, that, that went fine. Hello, all you discos. Goodbye. Uh, what is ahead of me? I can't scroll. So this is all I get. Whoa! Gosh, I was not paying enough attention and I didn't quite do that correctly. Shoot, what exactly am I supposed to do here? It looks like the game wants me to make a disco, but I don't know what it wants me to do with the disco. Oh, 
Oh, okay, these are solid for me. Well, that was dumb. And then... Oh, okay. I'm suspecting that I'm supposed to drop the disco here, have it get hit by the blocks so that it resets the timer, and then I would need to carry the disco somewhere else. And then I messed up an easy jump, so none of that even mattered. That Koopa is timed so that it basically just turns around and gets back in my way after bouncing off a green Koopa that's basically invisible up till that point. Or maybe I'm just slightly off where I'm supposed to be, but I don't know. Dang it. Killed Mr. Yellow Shell. I have a feeling I'm gonna need to come back through the level at this rate. Okay. So that's my extra midpoint, but it, the placement doesn't help me a whole lot. Okay, and then I need to flip the shell up here to to make it a disco, then I hit his hits this block, and then I get the dragon coin. Well, at least I know what to do with it now, so I don't have to react and do know who's do who knows what. Not sure what was up with the fish exactly, and that was a bit trolly, but I'm gonna kick the shell from over here because I don't trust that pipe. Oh, I should probably pay attention to the game still. Oh gosh, I need one of these guys. Well, that didn't work at all. If I can bring the Yoshi back through... No, I don't think that really helps me cheese anything. Alright. Dang it, I hit the block again. Those things are pretty touchy. Dang it. That was no good. So that's more what it's supposed to look like. So I guess the only other question is, there, is there a way to cheese this? The answer is probably not. Well, let's see what's in the, the rest of the level regardless. I was supposed to grab the blue shell. <laughs> I was just like, oh, I'm supposed to jump off Yoshi, and it's like, to where exactly? You know, in hindsight, I'm not convinced that doing it that way is any easier. Getting hit there probably helped me out a lot, actually. There we go. Now, don't kill yourself. I wouldn't be surprised if that's been patched out too, to be honest, but... Alright, now this dragon coin isn't saved, so the bad news is I still need to make it to the end of the level. At least I'm probably- oh, or just to the last dragon coin. Actually, making it to the last dragon coin is probably going to be fairly straightforward because I already know exactly where it is and how to get it. As long as I just don't mess this up. There we go. Saved. Now I gotta use it to kill this guy. Oh, wow. Or I was supposed to not put it in the lava. Well, oh, crud. I 
guess I'll just do that. I feel like I'm not doing this right at all. Well, that Yoshi got caught on the block. Other that that's the reason why I wasn't able to just stay on him. That kind of sucks. Alright, let's do the smart thing this time, and do it that way. Alright, I can just run out ahead of that shell, and we're good. Wow, that level drained a lot of lives. I was not reading a lot of things correctly there. I was taking the wrong actions, and then I... Two seconds later, I would realize, oh, that wasn't something I was supposed to do. Spin around spiny. And the level was definitely designed in a way where you die for that, so... Russian man. I remember you. You were all over the place in Cubic Tom's comment section. <laughs> and I guess the level really does want me to spin. No Yoshi's allowed. Well, I managed to bounce on a spiny. Congrats. I have a feeling I'll be using a lot of A in this level. Alright. Oh. Well, I need to get out there. I need to hit this block so that they bounce off, I think. And then I have a bit more time to get up there. There we go. All the coins. Don't want to bounce too high right away. I wonder... Whoa! I did not see that coming. Also, I just realized that these things aren't vanilla by any... Oh, come on. Oh, huh. You don't actually die for this. That's interesting. There's even a dragon coin down here. Okay, well, I'm back up here now. What happens if I fall down in a different place? Nope, that's not it. I'm assuming if I fall down here, I really am dead. I guess I need to turn on the switch somehow. I can scroll in this level, and that's the end of the screen. So I guess I need to fall down somewhere else. Where that is, I have no idea. Whoops. Well, uh, this makes things a little bit easier. <laughs> that makes things a little bit harder, though that just kills them, so whatever. Okay. Make the blocks appear, or block in this case. Okay, now this is where I need to go for this. Again, maybe I should have done this before getting the midpoint, but maybe it'll respawn. I don't know. Crazier things have happened in this game than a mid mid respawning midpoint. Then again, I also haven't seen a respawning midpoint, so... Nothing there. Well, I just gotta get it every time then. Hopefully by every time, I just mean this one time. Because I'm gonna beat this level this try, dang it. I say with confidence without knowing anything about what's ahead of me. There we go. Alright, I can't see what's coming. Oh, I have to do that all in one go. They're up in the ante here. Okay. Oh, I see you now. Let's just go back and then take my time going forward. Alright, I see no need to spin jump here. Let's just do it that way. <laughs> and just jump over all the gaps, because why not? 
Also, if I made it here without a mushroom, what would I do? Oh. Oh, wait. The on-off switches are right there. <laughs> it's not exactly rocket science. Oh, shoot. I... Th maybe I was supposed to bounce off a spiny there or something, but... You know, as long as we're cheesing this whole thing anyway, may as well just keep going. That said, maybe I should cheese this thing a little bit faster. <laughs> why did I normal jump there? I mean, why did I spin jump there? <laughs> I had done way too many spin jumps all levels, so I was just gonna keep on going, even if it didn't make any sense. There we go. No invisible block or anything. No odd spiny-based puzzle for me to hit a 50 there. That level was a lot like the the other one. We kind of had like three really similar levels in a row. One with gold statues, one with Koopas, and one with spinies. All kind of with the same theme of blocks that only Mario will fall through and one type of enemy <laughs> running around. Worn out bridge. I lol Yoshi. Who, as usual, hates Yoshis with a burning passion. Point of blocks. <laughs> the bridge blocks here are very fragile. Spin jumping isn't recommended. So, yeah, I can bounce if I do that. And if I spin jump, I just fall through like a lunatic. And I have just enough to get to that dragon coin after giving that pointless demonstration. And it doesn't matter anyways. <laughs> Alright, I haven't even seen any enemies yet, so I'm not going to waste that mushroom. Oh, there's a chuck. Oh. Wow, I did not think that through at all. Well, maybe I should have wasted that mushroom then. <laughs> This time, bounce on the enemy, instead of pointlessly trying to bounce higher than I know I can actually bounce. Because that's just silly. Well, that didn't work at all. But I got a 1-up to replenish the one that I just lost. Doesn't matter, they're all mushrooms anyways. I'm actually pretty surprised that I bounced off that guy earlier. I think the... I mean, bounced over that guy earlier, sorry. I was expecting that that would be really hard to do, so I didn't even really try that hard to avoid it. I guess they walk away from you, or maybe they just go the way they were originally going. Can't spin jump to deal with those piranhas, so gotta just wait around for a bit. Can't spin jump off of this either, not that it matters, because other I would just die if I tried. Well, I could live that, theoretically, but... Given how I've been playing today so far, I probably wouldn't. <laughs> It's a disco that I failed horribly. Oh no, my strategy of holding right didn't work. What do I even do? And I failed that too, so we're going back to the midpoint for me. Gosh dang it. I find that I am more comfortable Riding the disco. Oh, right, I can't do that. Alright, this time just jump over it and then go.
Okay, there we go. Just don't miss this dragon coin somehow. Whatever. Didn't get much, many points on the gold tape. Didn't get any, in fact. But I still get a pity point, so... In theory, since the gold tape turns into a coin. That did not go well at all. I find these levels really difficult because you don't have a lot of reaction time when you make any particular bounce. And reaction time isn't really my thing for the most part. Anyways, I think I'll call it there for today. See you next time.